want to be the only person who doesn't have plans for the party of the century, Chris Reba. Of course, I know you're referring to Monday's Great American Eclipse. You sound so excited. I'm getting you and I'm getting you excited about this. Not on your so is Tamika Artis. Mm -hmm. And she joins us now live from Drake Planetarium and Planetarium in Norwood with one of the several places that will hold the Eclipse watch party. Good morning, Chris and Kathy. You know, I was just having this conversation with some of my friends last night. Like, where are we going to watch the eclipse? Some people will be at work. They're going to have to take a little lunch break to do so. But uh, again, a lot of people are looking forward to this event. The reason why is because this is not something that happens all the time. In fact, the last time the moon passed between the Earth and the sun and a total eclipse could be seen across the entire U.S. was back in 1918. So whether you'll be here in Norwood making your own pinhole projector or watching from a telescope somewhere near Near you people are already making their plans to see something that really only happens once in a lifetime there are plenty of options for viewing the solar spectacle and here are just a few of the ones that we found out about the cincinnati nature center in milford has an event starting at 1 45 in the afternoon that is 10 bucks for non-members glenwood gardens on springfield pike will host an event from 1 until 4 o'clock also ten dollars for non-members and drake planetarium again here in norwood has an event for 15 bucks a little bit higher but they will also be live live streaming the event just in case the weather's bad and giving away those special NASA viewing glasses. Dean Regis, the director of the Cincinnati Observatory, explains what you can expect to see in the skies on Monday. The whole thing starts at one o'clock. That's when the moon makes its first appearance and then it'll slowly eat more and more of the sun's light away until about 2.30. So that'll be maximum eclipse when about 90% of the sun will be blocked. All right, well, there are lots of events happening around the tri-state, and some of them are free. So for a complete list of all the events taking place so that you can check out the solar eclipse for yourself, you can uh, log on right now to WCPO.com, and you can find out when and where it's all happening. Reporting live here in Norwood, I'm Tamika Artis-9 on your side.